Guten Tag alle, jetzt werden wir ein paar Übungen mit adjektive Endungen machen. So today we're going to try to do some practice activities with adjective endings. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video, Adjective Endings Introduction in German, then I highly recommend that you watch that video prior to this one. Um, the first thing we want to do when we are trying to figure out what adjective, uh, the adjective ending is for an adjective in German, we have to look at the noun that it's uh, modifying or that it's um, in front of. So we're going to try some exercises with that, just determining the case of the underlying nouns. So if you'd like to try this on your own first, uh, stop the video here. If not, uh, here come the answers, here come the Antworten. Ich habe ein großes Auto. In this case, Auto is direct object, so therefore accusative. Herr Wallace ist ein guter Lehrer. In this case, it's nominative, because it comes after a form in the verb sein. In this case, ist, therefore the predicate nominative. Der alte Mann, da ist mein Vater. Nominative, nominative, because it's the subject of a sentence. Ist das für dein neues Haus? This is going to be accusative, because it comes after the preposition für, which is always accusative in German. Das ist mein alter Hund. Hund here is going to be nominative case because again it's the predicate nominative. It comes after a conjugation of the verb sein in this case. Ist. Ich werde meiner Schwester das Geld geben. In this case it's dative. Schwester is the indirect object. You're giving the direct object which is Geld or money to the sister. Uh, was wirst du ohne dein Buch machen? This is accusative because of the accusative preposition ohne, and the accusative prepositions are basically durch, für, gegen, ohne, um. And Nummer 8, du kannst, mir, du kannst mit der jungen Frau tanzen. So mit is a dative preposition, thus making Frau dative. Okay, so how does this do, uh, have to do with adjective endings? Well, as I said, the first step in any solving what the ending is for an adjective in German is really to figure out or to know uh, what case the noun is that the adjective is modifying. So, for example, Nummer eins, ich habe ein alt Hund. In this case, Hund is the direct object, so it's accusative, and then since der Hund is originally masculine, it's going to change to den, or since we're using an indefinite article, einen alten Hund. And we want to refer back to that chart in our first video that will help you see this. Uh, der junge Mann hat ein neues Haus. This is uh, the subject of a sentence, so it's nominative. You have a definite article, der, so the ending is e. Ich sehe das alte Haus. This is accusative, but you have a definite article with a neuter noun, in this case das, so ich sehe das alte Haus. Sie kann meiner schönen Frau die Blumen geben. So in this case, uh, the Frau, oops, which is left out here, is the, uh, the indirect object. So just have to imagine that Frau is here. Sie kann meiner schönen Frau die Blumen geben. Das ist die neue Schule. This is the new school. So it's predicate nominative after ist. Wo ist mein neues Deutschbuch? Buch is a das Wort, and this is a nominative, and we have a mein, which is a possessive pronoun, which is, acts the same as an indefinite article when you're doing adjective endings in German. Uh, Nummer sieben, ist das für meinen alten Bruder? So this is accusative because of für, Bruder is a der word, so it changes to den, and since we have uh, in Definite article, in this case possessive pronoun, it shows that, meinen alten. Der große Hund ist nett, that's nominative. Er arbeitet mit einem alten Mann, this is dative because of mit. Ich habe ein großes Zimmer, there is no ending on ein, so just uh, accusative here. Uh, ich habe eine kleine Küche, so I have a small kitchen. And kannst du my neues Auto sehen. This is accusative and you just have the ending ES to reflect that it was a DAS word or neuter noun, DAS Auto. So again, check over that uh, first video, come back to this if you have to, and if you have problems, um, contact me through YouTube or let me know and we'll do more exercises. Vielen Dank!